If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TC Worlds 2020. Just checking to see if there's a delay on the camera. I don't think it is. Thank you so much to everyone who's hanging out today. We are now moving on to another deck that showed up in the latest round of um, of tournaments that we saw in um, foreign countries. Well, I guess every country is foreign, depending on where you are. Um, outside of North America, I guess. So what I intended to say, we have ADP with the bird trio so the two triple tag teams it's amazing to me that the Moltres, Saptos, and Articuno card like these guys have more combined HP than these behemoths right but I guess it comes to balancing issues not necessarily game accuracy um, but yeah our intention here is to use alter creation into ultimate ray to power up these guys get the extra damage get the extra prices or also potentially Sky, Le Sky Legends GX at some point in some matchups like Malamar perhaps. Um, that's what I imagine I, at least. Um, we have Victini with victory sign attack to be able to power up these guys as well a little bit quicker, which is really, really cool. And yeah, we are going to feature the burps and we have Cryogonal to help with our um, issue of um, Dolstal, which I feel like Dolstal has Falling out of favor, um, at least in um, in standard cups. Um, I haven't heard too much about it. It's never shown up here in Mexico, so I don't know. We have the Greens engine, we have the Tackle engine, we have Wait and See Hammer, which is pretty cool to have here. And we have a wide variety of energy, which um, Energy Spinner helps us um, find the right one for the right time. Triple Reset Stamp Channeler to get rid of Ladios GX's um, effect. And let's jump into the ladder and see how we can do with this ADP birds. Hi, Rook's Daddy. How are you doing? Thanks so much for being here. Which Angry Birds game are we going to play today? <laughs> the ADP Angry Birds. Uh, I would like to go first. Thank you very much. I guess if your opponent has a chance to KO Victini on turn 1, then going first doesn't seem that fantastic. Uh, but we don't even start Victini anyway, so it doesn't matter. I guess 4th Victini would be nice to have here. Right? 4th Victini feels like it would be good to have. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We shall see what happens here. We shall see what happens. You're anxious for a cup Saturday. How come, my rook's daddy? How come? Is it standard or expanded? All right. So we're up against a metal fire deck. I have no clue what that is. I actually have no clue what that is. And two snacks. Hey, man. What do you mean, how are you, my friend? What do you mean? What did I do? What did I do? Have you been? It's been a while. Um, okay, so maybe abilities are... Well, today we're playing... Oh, how, oh, it's how are you, comma, my friend. I thought you were asking, like, why were we friends? 
<laughs> and I was like, what? Why did I, what did I do? Um, <laughs> I'm doing good, yeah. Um, life's pretty good. 2020 looking to be a good year. I honestly don't, I feel like I need to guarantee an energy attachment, so I should greens here. Um, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? Yeah, I haven't heard from you in a long time. What have you been up to? Um, I've been up to the same. A lot of coaching, a lot of um, Pokemon, a lot of, not a lot of streaming, definitely less than I should be probably. But, um, but here we are. Yeah, grinding it out. <laughs> How about you, man? I generally misunderstood your message. Um, have I played VMAX Grave? No, I haven't. I mean, there's only Meowth, right? Available. I don't, I haven't checked. I don't think I have it. Um, like maybe I'll try to come up with a deck for it if I have it, but, um, but yeah, I have not played with VMAX Meowth yet. Okay. So we don't know still, my opponent is not doing anything. Eh, Belisario, now no voy a jugar en Sao Paulo. Yo jugué eh, regional la temporada pasada porque yo tenía un casamento en Brasil. Entonces ahí combiné, combiné las dos cosas, mas es muy difícil para mí ir para Brasil. Me gustaría más el difícil. And so we just went. And that was Portuguese. Yeah, I speak three languages. Spanish, English, and Portuguese. <laughs> um, the Pigram list is so much fun. You want to challenge with it? Nice. Congratulations, Khalid. That's pretty cool. Um, I feel like without the Dene, it's asking for trouble. I would at least play one the Dene. Well, I don't know if you play one the Dene or not, but having one the Dene as an option seems decent. Um, this is the year Pablo wins Worlds, hopefully. I actually had a dream about that. <laughs> I had a dream that I won Worlds 2020. That would be very nice. That would be very nice. All right. Have you been playing at all, Tube Snacks? Have you been playing at all? Yeah, life, life definitely is something, right? Like if if Pokemon wasn't my life, I, it'd be very hard to keep up with everything. So I understand. Um, don't demo accounts get all their promos? I mean, we do if we ask for them, or sometimes they add them. Like, it's it feels kind of random, honestly. <laughs> um, for the most part, we do, right? I should have all the promos, I think, but we have to actively ask for them. Sometimes they add them actively to our accounts, sometimes they don't. I And I haven't checked, right? I haven't checked. Um two cups this year okay so not too much is worlds in london a discouragement for you like to to actually play i would imagine it is for some people right okay so what if you played roxy's moltres after the articuno that way sky legends becomes even better um so yeah, like seeing this, I definitely see myself. I mean, the Wait and See Hammer is fantastic here. The Wait and See Hammer is actually insane, right? The Wait and See Hammer is really good here. Really, really, really good. Um, because it basically, like my opponent get, has a chance to start, but um, we get ahead in the energy. Right, we get ahead in the energy. All right, Poke Gear hasn't played a supporter yet. Yep. Okay, so this is the Quagsire, um, Silvali, Pipla Blastoise sort of deck. But I feel like if we GX with ADP, then all we need to do is KO this beautiful Dedene and KO this beautiful Silvali with our Moltres, Saptos, and Articuno, which shouldn't be too difficult to do because I don't expect my opponent to run a lot of disruption that's the first time i've used that um not correctly right i've used it correctly but effectively i guess okay so tackle and maybe start applying pressure with the power plant since i have these two cards already that seems reasonable i feel 
That seems reasonable, since I only have the fire. I think this this seems good. Energy spinner doesn't seem necessary. And I priced two custom catchers, that's not great. Um, so two custom catchers and great catchers, that's the plan at least. Or if I KO this guy, then that's also fine, right? That is also fine. But tackle will get me that and that, since I already have the bird. And then we'll go bench, attach, play that. And then we'll go victory sign. So going second was actually pretty nice for us here, not gonna lie. And the next turn we go retreat GX, and then afterwards we go ultimate ray into Moltres Aptus Articuno, and then we chase this guy, and then we chase something else, or we just chase these two, I don't know. Um, I could easily like go ultimate ray KO this into KO that. Like I said, I don't expect a lot of disruption from my opponent's part, so that should be good. Uh, this is annoying, but I can, like, I have the energy to retreat, and I have the greens for the switch, so it's not the biggest of deals. Um, okay, that's fair, do snacks. I remember you said, like, you bought a house recently, like, within the last two years. I can imagine that's something that takes a lot of attention in your life, like, paying the mortgage, and getting it decorated, and it moving in, and everything. Um, this won't stop... Silvali to go down after I GX, so that's pretty nice. Um, Irook's daddy, you lost a hundred points over it. Well, but the way cups work now, like you still have a bunch, a lot of time to do it, don't you? Like I might be wrong, but wouldn't it be fine? I don't know. Okay, so since I intend. Okay, since I my intention is to greens, right? So this seems better. I don't need to prevent damage, I don't think. I might be missing something, but double greens feels a lot better here. Um, I get the energy spinner, that's pretty nice. I already have a piece of that, so that's also good. I can retreat and then we'll go ahead and... Okay, just in case. I will bench that because if this gets dragged up then I can go energy spinner greens for a switch and a greens or something if everything works out correctly we should win this game in two turns right should win in two turns win the next two turns um where do you leave Irix daddy Do you think better replaces Victini in ADP instead of running Drachi Engine? Um, it's better the, the supporter that allows you to play an extra card. Um, either way, I don't think so. I think ADP just gets played with Seijian, right? With Seijian V. Um, <clears throat> okay, so there is the Great Catcher, right? And there is that guy, which is annoying. That's for sure. But like I said, like I I fully intend to win the game next turn by going greens for switch plus custom catcher into KO the DNA, power up this guy. Right? I could I could KO the Mimikyu, I guess. And that power plant is just icing on the cake. So I'm gonna grab that, and I'm gonna grab that. That power plant is just icing on the cake. So the plan, I, I'm gonna stick to the plan. I'm just gonna do this. Bring up the Dedeni. Switch. And I'll energy spinner for a fire, right? And then next turn, what I do is, and then I'll power up one fire, one lightning, and one water to the dude and then next turn what i do i lose this guy fine and then i go greens again for um energy spinner and great catcher and then i just went right i think that's a plan i think that's a plan better place an energy from your hand to a bench pokemon it is a supporter though right i feel like Metal Saucer plus Energy Switch is just more reliable since you can play better supporters overall. So, I don't know. So, a custom catcher piece is priced indeed. We will lose the ADP. 
there is a power plant now in place stopping this. Um, so as long as we don't get reset stamped, we have game in hand, I believe. If the other spinner is not priced, which I don't think it was. Um, have you ever thought of using Call of Legends Holo Energies? Uh, I have. The issue is I don't like when decks look uneven, and since there aren't any fairy ones, um, that's the main reason I don't use them. I've been thinking of going back to just standard looking cards though, for sure. Um, okay, so Guz Mahalas into a stadium, into potential draw. Reset stamp is my opponent's saving grace. If he hits that, he's good. Otherwise, he's not in a great spot. And like, if, worst case scenario, we get reset stamped. As long as we find an energy or a greens, we can knock out the Mimikyu, right? So we don't immediately win, but then my opponent is down to one energy in play and everything except this just gets KO'd. And there's no way for him to accelerate his energy on the board so it's just it's it's a bad spot to be in no matter what as long as we find an energy right as long as we find an energy um so yeah i mean i could use them i berserk i could if i ever play legacy then i might play those but we'll see yeah we shall see Okay. So the music is fine, right? I haven't heard anyone complain that it's too loud. Alright, pretty straightforward game. There's the energy top deck. I don't even need to find the spinner, which was in the deck. And now we just go Great Catcher. If I want to reveal the least amount of information possible, I guess I discard the two Victinis. It does tell my opponent how many Victinis I have at least, but it doesn't tell him that I'm playing an extra Custom Catcher, which I guess doesn't really matter. And 210 damage exactly after Alter Creation gets me the next three prizes and we win. So I think the biggest takeaway from this game is like, you can see how I was, I already had a plan to win the game since like before I even attacked, right? Before I even announced any sort of attack, I already knew, okay, so one turn I'm going to do this, this other turn I'm going to do this, this other turn I'm going to do this. And instead of um, going for a switch to save the energy on the Victini, which wasn't important, I decided to syndicate Lynn to make sure I had back-to-back -back greens for the other turns where I was going to win. So since the very first turn, I already had a plan in mind on how to win the game. Right, which I feel is something that a lot of players don't do. They're playing their cards, right, and what they can do that turn. But that's where a lot of mistakes happen when you're not focusing 100% on how to win the game. Metal ice cream sandwich. <laughs> metal ice cream sandwich, indeed. That's metal saucer, right? I mean, do we expect it to be called metal saucer instead of metal patch? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're in, we're 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 on a streak today. Standard treating us well after being away from it for so long. And I do have a cop this weekend, and I don't know what to play for it. I could play ADP, but I don't know exactly what I want to play. Um. All right. So we are going second. So Victini is pretty nice for a starter here. Um. I feel like unless my opponent mulligans, which it seems like he did. Um, I didn't want to bench anything, but now maybe I will. Um, okay, so this is Tina Chump, I'd imagine. Probably, very likely, right? Very likely. So Tina Chump, I guess, can be problematic. Um, I guess the cool part is that 40 plus 240 is not a KO on Moltres, Saptus, and Articuno, so that's a big deal. That is actually a big deal. That might be our saving grace, in fact. That Garchim Tina does not want to KO us. Um, there's always a GG end, right? Issue. Um, but yeah, I also feel like green stacks should be tagging in one great potion for Garchim Giratina. I feel like that would be a good, a good idea. All right. Didn't pay attention to what he got. Treasure and dust. Okay. So he's intending on um, 
dust stoning, treasuring, hopefully no reset stamping. Because this hand's pretty good, obviously. Although I did get Mulligan, so the reset stamp is very likely. Uh, cool dude, no idea what to play for a standard cup this weekend. What is the play? That is, that's a very good question. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the play is, but this is a pretty a pretty okay deck to use, I would say. Um, this is a pretty okay deck to use. Um, Garchim Giratina is also a pretty solid deck. ADP is also a pretty solid deck. Guardian is also a pretty solid deck. So there are a bunch of really good options. Um, I myself, I'm fancying Malamar, I think. Maybe, not 100% sure. Um, I mean, it depends on what you've been practicing with and like what you're confident on the most, I guess. And hello, Rail, thank you so much for being here. Wow, so he's gonna bop the double already? It's just gonna go all out. All right, with the double dust stones. Wait. Yeah, double dust stone. Okay, so we got to keep our hand and we just top deck that. That is insane. I was thinking of going after it, but now this is just fantastic to see. Definitely attaching here. I mean, do I even need to do anything here? Why are rats so hard to find? Because they're very old, Hyrux Daddy, because they are very, very old cards. That would be the reason why. Okay, seven cards. I don't think I need to reset stamp. I don't want to bench this because it will get sniped. Um, so what do I even greens for? Generally, like, what do I even greens for? Okay, I'm gonna spinner. That I will do. Well, hmm. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, I actually wish I hadn't done that now. Um, this guy will survive. I will attach one water and one metal to this. So I guess I can grab these three, right? Like, it, there's no harm in having them in hand. And it guarantees I have energy attachments every other turn. And it's just like, if I play a greens and I'm exhausting a greens, that's like my biggest issue right here. I, I honestly don't think I need to play anything. I guess playing greens is good because then hmm, it's it's a very hard argument to make I'll grab power plant and I'll grab choice helmet but yeah choice helmet is a good, very good card I like by having a greens in the discard if at some point I do get um, stamped right if I do get stamped then I will be able to um, I will be able to syndicate lane for a greens for like a potential future turn. So that was my train of thought right there. That was my train of thought right there. I'm not sure how this matchup works, honestly. This is the first time I am using ADP birds and therefore the first time I'm going up against the card jump, Tina. Um, Eric Sadi, I think Roxy Chump is okay, but I feel like regular Tina Chump is more reliable overall. Yeah, I think that regular Tina Chump is more reliable overall. Why didn't I bench the Trio Bird? Because it can just start getting sniped. Like, I can bench it, but I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to power it up. Um, sure, I lose it here, but it's not the biggest of deals. I think the biggest thing is um, the fact that it can get it can start getting sniped. Yeah, that's the biggest thing, that it can start getting sniped. Okay, because the, the cool part about the bird trio is that one linear attack and one calamity slash is not enough to KO it. However, with this current hand that I have right here, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm going to have to custom catch over to right? Failing the spinner. Failing the spinner, custom catch over two. Okay, coach trainer, so let's do it correctly, right? Let's coach trainer. 
Uh, well. Okay, so I need to protect myself, hopefully. So I'll do that. The counter game there definitely helps. And then we'll go ultimate ray. I guess I can power up one fire just in case. That seems reasonable. Oh, I'm out of, wait, what? Oh, I'm out of waters. So I should have, well, no, there was no way around that. Ooh, I'm out of waters. Two waters are prized. Uh oh. And two waters are prized. Um, well, that's not good. Right? That means if we get GG ended here, before we get the water out, it, we're dead. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, surge into Cynthia Caitlin, into energy plus. Uh, yeah, I guess the greens gets in there with. Well, it depends on what he has, right? Yep, there's the energy spinner. So greens gets him switch plus counter gain. Why didn't I GX? Because you don't need to GX. You don't need to GX in this matchup. You just need to, like, I could have, maybe, yeah, maybe that was better. He's gonna GG in me here, and then I've lost because I don't have another water. So why didn't I alter creation there? Um, I'm gonna quit because I have no water energy left. Why did I not alter creation there? Because I needed to free up. Um, I need to free up energy and like if I'm doing that I'm, it's like I'm playing to my opponent that drawing three turns right I alter creation then I attack and then I attack again and win that's not very likely to happen though right um, without the bird in play I guess there was merit to it um, but with two waters in the prizes that was just not going to happen and the fact that I drew the water at the energy to attach if I'd realized that I would have energy spinner for something else and kept the water. And that's probably what I should have done. But I didn't realize I was out of waters. Uh, yes, I would like to go first. Um, so yeah, there is an argument to alter creation with that hand. There is an argument not to do it as well. It's weird, I guess. Weird spot to be in for sure. Yeah, weird spot to be in for sure. All right, more mulligans, more, more mulligans. So maybe not benching the trio. Well, no, not benching the trio bird didn't matter because I had no more water energies. Well, I guess it would have mattered if I just, then I would have energy spinner. Yeah, I guess not benching it was a mistake. I guess not benching it was a mistake. A bunch of mistakes on my part in that match. Okay, that top deck means I don't have to. Okay, let's not make the same mistake, right? Let's not make the same mistake. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the energy spinner. I should have checked my energies or been more thorough with the energy check and then we'll pass. With Amu in front, I don't expect my opponent to get a KO here, but we shall see. I'm learning. I'm generally learning with this deck. Maybe I was overly confident by not benching the ADP trio, but like I also ended up dead drawing. I didn't find the water. Like a lot of things happened right there. Maybe I should have GX though. Like that's the cool part, right? Learning and making sure you are learning from your mistakes. Because if you're saying, oh no, I just got lucky every time, then that's not a great way to, to learn. What is this? Oh boy. Um, I'm pretty sure we lose to this Nine Tails, no matter what. Now, I mean, we have Victi. Well, we have. We have Cryogon all as well, so maybe not. Never mind. Never mind. Faba, jeez. <laughs> Do I Faba the Ultra Space? We have Cryogon all and we have Victini. Victini does 50 damage after IGX, so that's not bad at all. That is certainly not bad at all. So I'm gonna attach the metal here. Uh, I feel like Faba will probably be more important somewhere down the line. 
So we shall victory sign for a water and a fire. The water here. Hopefully that's the way. Oh no! <laughs> All right, well, it's not the biggest of deals, but that was silly. <laughs> if I chose the water first, though, why would it attach the second energy first? That's silly. I guess we have, if we GX, there's five prizes right here. So we just need him to bench something else, and that's fine. Um, hopefully no Latios GX either. That was so silly though. And maybe attaching energy here was also silly. Because I could have already altered creation. I guess. There's a Pokecom. Magnadal. And yeah, I, he can never. Like, this is. It's either LGM focused or it's some sort of. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I actually don't know, and I'm not too concerned. Double U-turn board down. Does my opponent think I'm not gonna GX? Um, shall I attach the water? Does it even matter? Do I Faba? Do I just Faba the Ultra Space? I feel like that's better. I mean, that's fine, rather. Do I switch? No, I don't think I switch. I'll just alter creation here. Like, what's the worst case scenario? We see a Articuno GX dropped, right? There's still only merit to playing ADP Keldeo. Seems kind of dropped off in popularity. I agree, yeah, it's definitely dropped off quite a bit in popularity. But I think it's still a very powerful deck and a pretty cool, a uh, pretty powerful deck. Parallel up for the bird triple GX now, KO Mew. Um, no, because like if you think about it, Alex, um, well, I mean, maybe it just doesn't seem that great. I feel like the GX will help me finish the game faster overall. Um, let's do that. So let's ultimate ray. Maybe, maybe that was better. Uh, let's do that. Let's keep the water in the deck, just in case. Like, what does the GX attack do? If I killed them, you would be down to five, and then the GX attack, I guess it KOs, it gets me three prizes sometimes, and then I just go KO that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that was better. Maybe that was indeed better I mean we had something though right <laughs> if we had something here then that would be fantastic if we had anything that would be fantastic we have yet to play a draw supporter other than Cynthia Caitlin there's the nine tails there's a doll So if he brings up the nine tails, uh, the issue is, yeah, nine tails is annoying. Jeez. Oh, the thing is, if he if he knocks out the victini, then what? Ugh. I mean, I'll go for it, I guess. Do I heal? Yeah, sure. Let's heal. Keep the switch. I can't use the custom catcher though. Custom catcher is how we win. Double custom catcher and great catcher is how we probably possibly win. But yeah, there there was merit too. As long as the GX got me three prizes, then there was merit to using it. There was indeed merit to using it. All right. I guess this match will be very long. Yeah, now we'll find him the BHM. If I could just find anything though. 
I could just find anything. Now we see a Cynthium. Okay. So now that guy goes down. So then what do we do? Just hope to top deck. There we go. There we go, my friend. Uh, one custom catcher is priced. One custom catcher is indeed priced, so that is a problem if we don't find it. Oh, I can't play items though. Oh, uh, I can't play items. Oh, I should have channelered. I should have gone for channeler, maybe. I mean, if I put ever whiffs, we are okay. Uh, but he's not gonna whiff this turn. Uh oh. Uh oh, a Rooney. So, should I have KO'd the Mew and powered up the bird? Yeah, because if I GX with the bird, then I eliminate the these people, right? I eliminate these people, and then I get a turn of item lock. So, that's one wheezing gone for the Roxy. Yeah, maybe that was better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe that was better. Yeah, my opponent's almost out of deck, so he'll probably be able to to just run me over. Yikes! That nine tails. Uh, okay, I mean we should try, right? We should definitely, definitely try. So we're gonna grab. Do I just let this guy go down? Possibly. Like at some point. So I guess I should be patient. I guess I'll be patient. I'll play a power plant. Maybe that will make him whiff. And then at, at some point, like it, my opponent attacks here and then next turn he knocks me out potentially. So afterwards I will go, and I should have kept that in hand, in fact. I will go greens. This next turn, I will go greens for channeler plus reset stamp. That will be the plan. That will be the plan. I guess, yeah, channeler reset stamp. And maybe KO that to try and free up the counter catcher, the custom catcher. No, no, that shouldn't be because I can great catcher, but I can never. Great catcher, this or this. So these are my seven prizes, I guess. Or if, yeah. Chandler will get rid of your GX. Oh, that's true. Chandler will get rid of my GX. Uh. Chandler will get rid of my GX. That's bad. I mean, do I have another option though? Do I even have another option? Ooh. Oh, okay. Mm. I mean, I have to go for it, right? I don't have another choice. Yeah, I don't have another choice. I have to hope. <laughs> Maybe. Not even sure. I mean, Nine Tails is literally the card to counter this, right? I have needed an army of Victinis and Cryogonals to beat that. Playing Brock's grit here for us is good because then um, 
it's more Pokemon clogging up his hand after the stamp, right? So then I, I guess I do go custom catcher kill that. We'll see. We shall see. Move all effects of attacks on you and each of your Pokemon, darn. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this, I don't think. Okay, that's good, right? Kind of. Kind of. Decides to bench another of these people. Yeah, if I could power plant, that would have been good. So maybe I do go after this, Nag Natal. Um. Okay, so what if... What if I Cynthia Caitlyn the U-turn board? Right? What if I Cynthia Caitlyn the U-turn board? I definitely go after this. Oh, but then I give him another U-turn board. Okay. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, but he has a stadium. <sighs> That stadium, that's too. I should not have played my stadium. That was so dumb of me. That was so dumb of me that I played the stadium down. So, so dumb of me. Yeah, if I could have played Power Plant here, then he can't thin. We did get the custom, but that's not good. What matches Chandler is useful? It's you need it for when they use Latios GX. That way you can remove that effect and then you can um, GX yourself. Yeah. Video and sound not synchronized. Uh oh. They look synchronized to me. Hello, user redirected. Is anyone else having that problem to where the video and the sound are not synchronized? That sometimes happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede. <laughs> I'm not winning this. I am 100% not winning this. So yeah, I guess BHM hard counters ADP birds, right? Not the biggest of deals. You probably won't be encountering um, ADP birds too, too much, right? You probably won't be um, encountering that. So this is still a pretty cool deck, pretty fun deck for sure. And unfortunately, I spent more time than I intended to on ADP birds. So that will be all for today. But tomorrow we'll be back with more standard. We'll be playing Mew3 and I guess other decks. When I figure out what else we want to play, if you have any suggestions, feel free to tweet at me. Um, Twitter, I think, is the easiest way for me to check um, things. And no, I don't mean Nakna the Elman at all. I mean. Latios. Like if they use Latios GX and you can't GX, then you go Chandler and then you can GX, right? Um, okay, so thank you so much to everyone who hung out today. Very, very appreciate it. And I'm trying to set up a, a giveaway thing, yeah, so that it's easy for uh, people to participate and get giveaways and start giving out more codes and more things that our beautiful Poton, um, Poton store sponsor is helping us with um, since YouTube is just like YouTube is a terrible platform now you can't even comment on my videos anymore so yeah we're gonna be focusing a little bit more on Twitch videos will still be going up on YouTube but um, makes more sense to focus on Twitch it's a much better platform and um, yeah, I'm working. I think I've got it all down. So hopefully tomorrow we get to test the giveaway thing. And um, if you guys remind me, I'll be very happy to give out a bunch of codes that I have just hanging around in my room. So yeah, thank you so much 
for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.